Provisioning your phones may help you save setup time even in small deployments. And in fact, the easiest way to set up a phone for use with 3CX phone system is to use the built-in provisioning functionality. This will allow the phone to configure itself by retrieving a 3CX generated phone configuration file. To fully take advantage of this, you can configure your DHCP server to also deliver to the phone the location from where it can retrieve its configuration file. The result will be completely automated phone configuration. Provisioning is typically a three-stage process. The first is to enable provisioning for an extension to create the phone's configuration files. Secondly, we configure time zone and daylight saving time settings. And finally, we tell the phone where to get its configuration files from. In the provisioning tab, we simply need to enter the MAC address of the phone and the model. If we also want to preset the phone to monitor activity for particular extension numbers, we can also set this up in the BLF section. The provisioning mechanism can also set up the phones for correct time, time zone and daylight savings time, also known as DST. The installation defaults are for Central European time, which is GMT plus one, but we can easily adjust for other time zones. The custom parameters page lists several variables with names starting with time. Different phone brands will require different variables and values, so we will use the Cisco SPA range as an example here and set it for use in New York. First, the phone will need to know where to get the current base time from. We can set this in the time NTP server variable. The default value is pool.ntp.org. It will only be necessary to customize this if you want to use an internal NTP server. Next, the phone will need to know which time zone it is in. We can set this in the time time zone linkses variable. The default value is GMT plus one. But we can customize this for the New York time zone by changing the value to GMT minus five. Finally, the phone will need to know the start and end dates for daylight savings time and the number of minutes to add when it is in effect. The variables for these dates are time DST start month, time DST start day, time DST end month and time DST end day. In 2010, New York DST will start on the 14th of March. So valid values are Time DST start month set to 3 and Time DST start day set to 14. In 2010, New York Daylight Savings Time will end on the 7th of November, so valid values will be Time DST end month set to 11 and Time DST end day set to 7. The variable for the number of minutes to add when DST is in effect is time DST saving minutes. The default value is 60 and typically will not need to be adjusted. For New York, this value is fine. We can now configure the DHCP server on the LAN to deliver to the phone the provisioning path. A DHCP server will allow a device to request its network settings automatically and typically will get an IP address, a default gateway, and also an IP address for a DNS server. This is the recommended method. This example will show you how to configure Microsoft's DHCP server. To completely configure the phone, you will need to specify an additional scope option. Option 66 should contain the provisioning path for the phone to retrieve its configuration file. With these DHCP settings in place, any phone that supports automatic provisioning, for example, Cisco SPA509G, 
will simply need to be factory reset and then connected to the LAN. And upon boot, it will retrieve all its settings automatically from the 3CX phone system machine. The recommended provisioning mechanism is to use the ACP with option 66 as it greatly simplifies the deployment. But if you do not want to or cannot use the ACP option 66, you will need to manually tell the phone where to retrieve its configuration files. In the case of a grand stream GXP2000, for example, we need to simply give it a URL path to retrieve files from and also tell it to ignore any DHCP server's attempts to override this setting. Load up the phone's web interface, go to the Advanced Settings tab, select the Upgrade via HTTP option and in the Config Server Path field, enter the provisioning path. Assuming the 3CX phone system machine has IP address 10.0.0.11, the provisioning path for a Cassini install will be 10.0.0.11 colon 5481 forward slash provisioning. While the provisioning path for an IIS install will be 10.0.0.11 colon 80 forward slash management forward slash provisioning. After the next reboot, the phone will retrieve its settings from the PBX's provisioning directory.